Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Ayush here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to dual boot Phoenix OS with Windows 10 with full screen support on external monitor. I've been searching all over the internet about how to get full screen support on Phoenix OS on external monitor, but I didn't find any video or anything. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get it working on your device. And guys, please hit like button if this video helps you. So let's get started. First of all, go to any browser and go to the Phoenix OS official site and download its Windows installer. Once it is downloaded, run it. Now just tap on install and select the drive where you want to install it. I would recommend you to create another partition for Phoenix OS. I have this E drive for Phoenix OS, so you need to create another partition and then select the drive and then just tap on install here you have to choose the data size image i would recommend you to choose at least 16 gigs once the installation is complete don't tap on reboot now just select remind me later option now download and install easy bcd on your device this is a free program for windows that lets you create and edit boot entries now just run it now go to the add new entry option and then select neogrub and then tap on install i mean click on install once that is done you will get a new folder inside your c drive named as nst To the C drive and then go to the NST folder. There you will find a file named as menu.lst. Open this file with any text editor and also open the file that I've provided in the description. Now just copy that file that I've provided in the description and then paste the text over to the menu.lst file and save it. This code over here, video LVS, LVSD transfers the video from the uh, internal display to the external monitor. And one thing that you need to make sure is to uh, is to rename this partition number with your partition. If you don't know how to find that, then just check out the description. Once that is done, reboot your computer. On the boot screen you will see two more entries along with the windows 10 one is phoenix os and other is neogrub bootloader just select neogrub bootloader and then just select this so yeah as you can see external monitor is working with full screen support there is no cropping or anything like that now one more thing if you want to use your laptop's inbuilt display then you need to select phoenix os boot entry to boot to the phoenix os now to avoid the confusion just go to the windows and go to easy bcd then select edit boot menu option and then rename this new bootloader of uh, boot entry with whatever you like like phoenix os external monitor or something like that so yeah that's it for this video guys don't forget to check out my other videos and please drop a like so yeah that's it for this video bye guys